Yo, hey guys. So, let's take these off. Uh, my keyboard's here, I've just been doing some lessons. Um, why are exercises important? You know, there's a lot of stuff going around, people saying, uh, oh, I can just learn to sing by singing songs, you know? Exercises, what's the point? Um, and I'm like, dude, really? Really? You are clueless, bro. That's what I'm thinking. You need to do exercises for a few basic reasons. Okay? Singing is just like being an athlete. You're learning a skill set. That's all it is, yeah? There's no mystery. It's just a bunch of skills you're trying to put together and learn. Now, imagine you're playing basketball. And this is an analogy that is accurate. It's extremely accurate. You're playing basketball um, and someone says, right, we're going to learn to play basketball, okay? And you just play basketball games day in, day out. You know, that's how you learn. Are you going to get good over time? Yeah, if you play enough and you uh, do it long enough, you will get better and improve and you'll get pretty good at what you do. However, um, and that would be your just learning to sing, singing songs, you know? However, the best thing to do is to learn parts of the game separately and then bring it all together. So you would sit down and learn to dribble. You would sit down for you know, an hour, 30 minutes each day and practice dribbling, practice your dribbling skills. Then you would sit, sit, you would stand in front of the hoop and you would be practicing your layups, practicing short shots. Um, then you would move back from the basket, practice some medium distance shots. Yeah, maybe combine that with a little bit of dribbling. Um, then you would maybe um, go back to further the three point line, practice your three point shot. Then maybe you'd work with somebody else, practice your passing, practice your layoffs. Yeah, um, then you might work with a team and work on specific moves yeah you might go back to working on your own game working at crossover dribbles you know have somebody in front of you working at getting past them for layups working at um uh you know dummying them thinking that you're going to go forward and then pulling back for a for a fall away maybe practice your fall aways in isolation this kind of thing then when you come to a game you're there You've now got options. You're not having to create things on the fly. You can think, right, I can cross over and go past him, or I can do a spin move, which I might may have may have also practiced in isolation, um, or I can fake him, make him move back, and then go for the fall away, um, or I can catch the ball, pretend I'm going to shoot, and lay it off because I've practiced that in isolation. So all of a sudden, I've got these options that I've worked on in isolation. My game comes together as one game, but it is uh, as a result of all those small bits of work I've done in different areas of my game. So, <laughs> this is all working on scales is. It is isolating parts of your game, your singing game, so that you can work on compression, keeping it even through your range. In, uh, you can work on maybe different vowel shapes in combination. You can work on just closing the mouth down and isolating what you're doing in here. Um, you can work on different volume levels and keeping them nice and even. Um, you can work on um, building intensity into the voice, you know, dynamic range, um, this kind of thing. Um, you can work on, you know, very heady types of sounds. You can work on whatever it is, um, you know, very yelly type sounds, trying to make, how do I do this and not make, like, so it doesn't hurt me or I don't get any fatigue, this kind of thing. Um, the point is, what scales do is they help us to isolate different skills that we need as a singer. And then when we go to sing songs, we bring everything together. We've got a much better chance of bringing our game together when we've worked on things in isolation. Because you can't really, in the heat of a game, work right. Sit sit there for ten minutes and you know work on your fall away, work on your fade away. You get one shot in the game, and if you don't pull it, you miss it. That's it. Next, you know, uh, next possession. Now you now you're in defense. Yeah. 
So when you're singing, you haven't got a chance to rewind. You haven't, you've got a chance to rewind, but I'm talking about shows, yeah? Or even if you are singing, you've got a chance to rewind. There's a lot of stuff going on. If I've got a combination of words in a sentence, in a song, I've got loads of different vowels coming at me, loads of different consonants coming at me, maybe different compression levels coming at me, um, different parts of my range I've got to transition between, this kind of thing, all at once, yeah? If I've worked on transitioning between parts of my range in, in isolation, um, different levels of compression in isolation, different vowels in isolation, um, different consonants in isolation, all of a sudden, when it comes together, it's no big deal. Let me be clear. There is too much going on when you're singing a song for you to to um, have any chance of pulling it back if, if, if the basic skills aren't there. And those basic skills you work on in isolation, just like your dribble, just like your uh, free throw shot, just like your jump shot, whatever it is in basketball, yeah? So when you've got those basic skills to rely on and depend on, you can then forget about them and move on. The best singers aren't thinking. That's what I'll say. The best singers are not thinking about technique. It's all automatic. They've already put it all in there. So you need to get to the point where 95% of your technique is automatic. So you can just let go of your technique, express the song, and if you need a little bit here and there, a little few tweaks, you're able to think, ah, okay, I missed my compression a little bit there, or you know, I need to get that mouth more open because it's a bit closed down at the minute. Um, smaller adjustments that you can make on the fly rather than having to think, Jesus, like all this stuff's bombarding me all of a sudden because I've not practiced it outside of the game. Yeah? So this is why exercises are key if you want to get very, very good at what you do. You can get pretty good as a singer just singing songs, no doubt, and a lot of uh, great singers out there have done it. But if you want to get the best end result, um, then you need to think this way about it that uh, scales can be useful for various reasons. I encourage you to go and watch uh, one of my favourite basketball players, Steve Nash. I'll put a link in the description. Go watch him train for 20 minutes. See how he isolates parts of his game in the training session. That is how we got to think as singers if we want to get very, very good at what we do. Yeah? So, scales are not bullshit. Exercises are not bullshit. You've got to understand the reason behind these things. And now that you do, you can go and work and I'll see you in 10 years. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you want my help personally, you can book a one-on-one -on -one training session. Drop me a message. My email is in the description. And if you feel like this message was of value, then please feel free to make a donation equal to that value. Again, donation link is in the description. And finally, please share this video with other singers you know. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you in another video. Bye.